Hello, and thank you for coming to our first season of So You Wanna Be a Princess. We've got a very exciting show in store for you tonight. Let's bring out our wannabe princess. You love to hate her, Millwood's very own, Diana. Hello, peasants. Please don't look me directly in the eye. Eye contact is an earned privilege, not a right. Diana, please tell us your idea of the perfect date. Well, it would start by getting a tour of his amazingly beautiful castle. And then he'd let me try on his mom's crown. And it would end with true love's kiss, of course. That sounds amazing. And what qualities are you looking for in a man? Well, first and foremost, he has to be a prince, duh. Preferably over six feet tall with perfectly symmetrical features. And would definitely prefer if he had a fleet of ships and a vault full of jewels. Not trying to be too particular. Well, we've got some pretty eligible bachelors in store for you. Are you ready to meet your first potential prince? Oh, I was born ready. Our first prince hails all the way from a magical far off land. If you're into buying shoes made of glass, then he just might be your next bibbity bobbity from Cinderella, Prince Charming. You have 30 seconds to get to know each other. Diana, if at any point you're ready to move on to the next prince, just hit the big red button. Okay, Prince Charming, what would a day in the life of a princess in your world be like? You'd have to live with your evil stepmother and evil stepsisters. Uh, you'd have to wear rags, cook and clean for them, but only for like a, a decade or so. Oh, and your only friends are two mice wearing teeny tiny outfits. Ew. I'm sure you'll find me charming in many other ways. That doesn't sound very charming. It sounds like an infestation. Mm. I ship it. Let's go, big guy. The chimes have struck midnight and you've turned into a loser. I am charming. <laughs> My mother told me so. Our next prince will definitely let you sleep in on Sundays. In fact, his last girlfriend slept for a hundred years. You've already met him once upon a dream, so why not be his next sleeping beauty? Everyone, give it up for Prince Philip. It's nice meeting someone who hasn't been cursed. Yet. <laughs> well, you're very cute. What would my life be like if I were to choose you? First, you'd be taken from your parents. You'd be raised by three magical fairies. You'd live in a hidden house in a forest. And then one day you'll prick your finger on a spindle and fall into a coma until I kiss you and wake you from the forever sleep. Diana. You literally put me to sleep when you started talking about spindles. What's a spindle anyway? It's a piece of a spinning wheel. All right, big guy. Come on, let's go. Oh, we'll go find you a spindle. I like my sleep as much as the next girl, but I'd like to be able to wake myself up. I don't need a man to do that for me. Next up, we have a gentle giant. He may have a tail, but your love will be a tail as old as time. Nope, not into it. I like a man with a wild side, but you legit have claws. Next. Ever heard of deodorant? Okay, our next prince definitely wants you to make him part of your world. From the Little Mermaid, please welcome Prince Eric. Well, you look normal. What's the catch? He's the catch. <laughs> How dare you? I love long walks on the beach and being close to the ocean. OMG, me too. Well, as long as you carry me on the sand, because sand sucks. And not in the ocean. Open bodies of water aren't really my thing. Uh, well, if you were to become my princess, you'd first have to have a big fight with your father, then get turned into a mermaid by a witch. And on our first date, I'd meet you where the land touches sea. So at the sand? Oh, uh, yeah. She hates the sand! If you really knew me, you'd know my greatest fear is an overbearing father. And a close second would be losing both of my legs. Next! Come on, maybe give Ursula a shot. Girl, living in the ocean would be perfect for you. Because you're so salty. <laughs> I'm not trying to become part fish. Ugh, all these guys suck. What the heck, Casey? You said I'd find true love. Well, uh... I can assure you, these are all very eligible bachelors. There just isn't like a huge pool of single princes hanging around. You also 
can be a little... I can be a little what? Picky? Do you see what I'm working with? I either have to cook and clean, become part fish, or be in a coma. And I'm not even gonna mention the whole beast situation. Well, we do actually have one other bachelor who would be ready to meet with you. Are you ready to meet him? Well, I don't think it could get any worse than this. Well, here goes nothing. Try not to bite his head off or we'll probably get sued. Let us please give a warm welcome to our final prince. He will love your long blonde hair. In fact, he'll probably want to grow it longer. Will you be Rapunzel 2.0? Let down your hair and live a little. Well, I guess they save best for last. If I were to choose you, what would I be getting myself into? Please don't tell me I have to interact with forest animals. I am not looking to get a rabies shot. Well, it's not a big deal. But you're gonna have to be locked in a tower and grow your hair super long so that when I come save you, I can use it to climb up the tower and rest. I got you. Thank you. You know what? We're done here. I thought I needed some handsome prince to come sweep me off my feet. But all you princes want to do is put me in situations where you can save me. I'm not here to make you feel like more of a man. In the words of my queen and savior, Beyonce, Tell him, boy, bye. Also, who needs to be a princess when you can be a queen? Bow down, 